If I had six beers right now, I would have drank all eight of them. Good morning everyone and welcome to another episode of Zuluk Fishing. So yeah, this morning I'm fishing solo, I um, got up really early this morning, about 4 a.m. and you guys that know the Southern Cape area knows that it is really cold during the winter time, that early in the morning. So, got up, went to the river, pumped myself a couple of prawns, after that I had to make a stop and get myself a nice warm cup of coffee. And then here we are, on the beach, water doesn't look that good, um, they predicted about a 1.6 to a 1.7 meter swell. Um, Looking at the sea, it's more like a 2.5 to a 2.7. But well, here we are, and uh, we're just going to make the most of it. Um, plan for today is to cover this piece of coastline. We've got about a six kilometer piece of coastline that I'm going to cover today. Six kilometers up, six kilometers down. So in total, we're about, we have about 12 kilometers of fishing water. And this coastline is yeah, catch a lot of Halloween when they uh, um, cop Bellman, Denny's, Big Elf, Shad. But um, all depends on the formation. Um, it opens up and closes a lot. Sand, sand moves in and the sand moves out. And uh, so all depends on the formation. But, but by looking at down the coast, it seems like it's quite sanded up. Still, we're just going to make the most of the day. I just want to catch a couple of edible fish. I have some prawn, white mussel, archi leg or two, beautiful red bait and even brought some paddle tails with but looking at the water, I don't know if you're going to be able to throw a paddle tail for a cob maybe on the high tide, sea settles a bit and um, we can do that but I'm um, yeah, really am to get a line in the water I think my first spot that I wanted to stop is about a kilometer away and I've looked down the beach seems like there's not a lot of rocks open so I think I'm gonna skip that and make my first throw about three and a half kilometers down the beach so I've got still a long way to go and then yeah hopefully today we'll produce some fish I'm just gonna fish what I see fish the formation what I see and do what the water tells me and what the formation tells me so right lucky boys let's catch some fish alone uh, put the camera down for myself walk uh, walk past it pick it up again <laughs> Big hair. okay I'm gonna make a quick stop here and throw for a galleon, one or two throws, see what's happening and then move on um, you can see behind me, there's some rocks here I just want to show you guys, a while back this was all covered in sand so starting to open up really nice um, but I'm going to fish in here there's one or two rocks like that one there and there's one a little bit further back that um, there you can start to see it now um, those rocks weren't open um, a month or two back I fished here and um, this was just all sand so <coughs> usually when a spot opens it's a really good spot to fish for Kalyun so I'm just going to give it a quick throw or two um, would be more ideal on the higher tide but I'm just going to walk out on these rocks and then fish in the back but on the higher tide I'm sure you're going to catch a Kalyun here but by, by that time I'll be way up um, down the coast but I'm going to slap on a little red bait make a throw 
So we'll go and catch a Chayun. So here we go, first throw of the morning. Um, oh, it's not too bad, yeah? Take a little chance. Little red bait, two or circle hook. Horizon medium, like a light tackle. Can't catch a blood. Liquor. Alun. Well, first throw we have a guppy Alun, really tiny thing. But um, I saw I threw a little bit to the left while I'm standing there watching the water. I saw there's a little, little hole working about 20 meters to the right where I threw it. So I'm just going to throw it a little bit more towards my right. And it looks a little bit better there. Slightly deeper water, washed out, uh, washed open a little bit more. But um, yeah, just going to make a throw there. But um, yeah, baby, come in. Let's put it back. Come on, little speedster. Off you go. Underneath my legs. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it's a little bit too quiet, so I'm just gonna find another spot a little bit further down the beach to see if we can find an area that holds a little bit more fish with it. And one little chalion, one or two small pickers, and that's it. It's fun. Find a new spot and well, don't waste time in a spot that doesn't have fish. Right, right next to it. Uh, 
if it's a small Khalin or a black tail. It almost feels like a young Khalin. As I landed the Khalun, um, my battery died with the GoPro. There's a better size Khalun. Sure, its size must be like a 37 centimeter Khalun. Not the biggest of fish, but um, yeah, we're getting better. Um, size is getting better. I just stopped here right next to this rock here. Three that bait like half a meter from the rock. And um, yeah, it's just like a test throw and I wanted to move on again. And it was, uh, wasn't long enough. The bite here, so I think I'm gonna make another try. Here. There you go. Ali. Going back to the drink. Circle got him moy. Just above the scissor in the upper jaw. Hey. There you go. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> Love it when they go back. Like speedsters just say hi to the cameraman today there's a cameraman old spike and tripod why didn't you replace the battery damn it man there you go let's make another throw this thing is a little bit um, wobbly or the footage is not too stable um, that's because the cameraman is a sand spike um, you know, fishing alone, I have to try my best and then, and then I screw it up like I did now with that not replacing the battery anyway yeah there you go But it's um, okay. So we're going to bite there. There. <gasps> On. <laughs> Black tail. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've been waiting the whole morning for this fish. But, um, uh, Louis Allison, if you're watching this, this scold us especially for you, eh? Throw it back. Oh yes! Woo. Can't put it any closer than that. Oh, jeez, what the hell? <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Oh, my word. Oh, I thought I was cut off. And then it went again, it's like on and um, yeah, I just felt like I was cut off and um, I thought well it's off and then all of a sudden it was on again. Yo! That must have been a beautiful Khalian guys, beautiful. Oh no! Oh. Yesterday! Oh that's a good fish. It's either a cracker or or a youngish cracker or a big Khalun but my money is on a on a big Khalun yes guys that thing floored me no man it's not like there's thousands of fish but um, it seems like we found a little spot here that holds some fish at three throws here and um, three bites put that one small Khalun and then a blacktail now this fish, 
Yes, when a bait landed, I just knew it has to be a bite. It was perfectly, perfectly in the zone, right next to the rock. No! Ah, I hope I didn't spook the fish, or spook the shoal. Oh, let's go ahead again. Definitely some fish there. They're all quality though. Oh, this small gully. Definitely some bites there, so we're gonna stick around in this area. It's amazing how fishing works. I started off on the left hand side of that rock, no bites, and then. Um, Move to the right hand side, fish a little bit further from the rock, no bites, and I thought well let's have one throw right next to the rock, and um, yeah, we got some bites, but um, get this bad boy back, hopefully we'll get a quality fish, Zander doesn't lose the quality fish again, not ideal losing fish on it, it's never ideal to lose a fish, but anyway. decent bite. Oh, it's not that bad. Ah. Yeah, must be a galleon. Yeah. Come on. Stuck there. Some out. Maluna, Haluna, that's getting better. Oh, we're starting to get better in size. Just get this camera down here. And, um, no, size is getting better and better. Oh, nice fish. Nice. Nice and fat, this Halun. I think I might keep this one. It's gonna go nice on the brow. I think so. Alright, it's fat, Khalil. I'll measure now, it's a bit close to 40 centimeters. And, um, look at that, guys. See how light it is in color, and that's why that's because of the sand. Usually, when they're in the between the rocks, in the bombs, the rocks are a little bit darker in color. But um, this fish looks like it's gonna go home and uh, have a little bride. I think so. So often that I keep a fish, I love myself a good chalun on the bride. So this one is gonna go home with me and um, nice and fresh on the bride. And um, I have a fish for the day. But um, let's get one or two more baits in that water there. It seems like the closer I throw it in a rock, the faster the bite is. And, um, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to fish here too long because the tide is going to pull up too much and um, the foam and the working water around the rock is going to disappear and we need that working water to catch the fish. But anyway, I'm going to kill this fish as humanely and fast as possible, let it bleed out and have it like a fresh towel.
So I had two throws, two more throws in the same spot, right, um, right next to the rock, and um, felt some blacktail bite. And this one I threw just before the rock, um, same, keeping the same distance um, from the rock, but just on the inside of the, of the rock. And uh, enough, come on, spike me. And uh, hopefully I found them now again. And there we go, another small halion. Let's chuck this one back. Over the legal size limit, sure of it. But um, I kept one fish. It's all that I need. Nothing wrong with keeping a fish. Keep only what you need. Here, you fill my bait container. I'll be back now. Right, I think I'm done here for now. I'm gonna move a little bit more up, see if I can't create myself an opportunity for a bigger fish or a better fish. Um, not gonna focus as much on the Khalin now with the tide filling up. Might be focusing on a white stem rust, cracker, cob, maybe a big elf, shad. I don't know, the formation is up here, so I'm just gonna walk up, see how it looks and then make the most of it. Hopefully there's some better water or water for the better fish. If not, I'll fish for Khalin again, but hopefully there's a chance of a cracker or a cob or a steeny or just something like that. Okay, let me pick up and walk. A little spot here and it looked just too perfect for a Khalin. And I thought I'll just make one throw here. And then there we go, first throw, on. Yeah, and the, the cold dust specialist strikes again. There you go, decent blacktail. I thought it was one of those smaller Khalyun once again, but it uh, turned out to be a blacktail. And I have one more throw here. Looks really lucky for a big Khalyun, and it looks like a cracker can jump onto the bait anytime. So I'm gonna have one more throw here and see what's happening. Another guppy Khalyun. Yes. That's really a small one. Look at that. Where's the big Khalyun, guys? Yeah. At least we're catching something. Couple of bites. Nothing massive, but um, there's bites. Just break. Okay, I'm about five kilometers up now and um, I don't think I'm gonna go any further because it's well, see it's a little bit big it's a little bit on the on the big side or the swell is a little bit too up it's a little bit rough it's a, little bit, a little bit too much energy in the swell found a little sandbank here so I'm gonna spend like an hour an hour and a half here um, we're almost at the, on the high tide so it's not impossible for uh, Younger size cob to be on the bank or a smaller steeny or something like that. Maybe even a cracker, they like to come onto the sand bank because we have some rock on the reef and we have some rock on the right. So, um, we've caught some crackers on the sand banks here in the past, but um, so it's not impossible. I'm going to take one of my rods, take it in a sand spike with an hockey leg, and then I'm going to take the rising medium and uh, just throw a couple of sand prawn on that. Hopefully, a steeny. Or a big halloon or a cracker or something. Eat it. But, uh, 
far from ideal really guys far from ideal but um gotta make the most of it need to catch some fish um got a couple of hyena but we still need a lack of decent sized fish so hopefully we can get one out Rod here in my own line. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh. Okay, now we can fight the fish. <laughs> oh, feels like a cobby. <laughs> I was busy fixing up by the rod and uh, I saw this one bouncing and I ran down and um, my, my hook got stuck in my, on my foot. Exactly like a cob. There we go, cobby. 
That's it, guys. There we go. Cobble dough. Plate is still perfect. There we go. Joe. Okay, let's just get this camera down here. Camera man. Yes, guys, filming on your own is not really easy. Eh? I usually don't have a cameraman, but um, the anglers that fish with you helps quite a lot. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Let me show you our coblet. Okay, here we go. Come on. Look at that. Look at that hook, guys. Perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Bait is still perfect. That's gonna go back for another fish. Not the biggest of cob. Oh, that sunlight is a little bit direct there. But anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can't get a bit of an angle. Angle, angle on the fish. Like yeah. Here we go. Cobby, not the biggest of fish. Probably like a two and a half to three kilo cobby. But um, we got him. Just on the right time, on the right tide. First throw. Let's get the hook out. Get him back. Hopefully catch another one. I'm just going to throw the same bait. Can't have this hook any better. Right in the scissor of the mouth. Perfectly hooked. Yeah. Throw right in the sand spike and get a fish back. Lekker boys, we're catching! Catching! Yeah? We are catching! Okay. Get a lekker release. Couple toe. Okay, there we go. Let's go back. Hey, what a like a surprise. Thought there might be a cobby, but I wasn't too convinced. But when I threw my boat, um, I saw that it was lying still. I wasn't like rolling around and washing and pulling. Then I knew there's the chance. So, yeah. Looking better and better. Hopefully we can get a better one. But um, yeah, we called it, eh? Oh, that lens is there dirty. Okay, much better. Sorry for the dirty lens, guys. But, um, no. Working a bit on the pressure here. Let's catch it. Just look at that hockey leg. Still perfect. I'm gonna throw it back again. Just like it was. Looks like it's untouched. That's another one. Yeah. Okay, this time I'm going with a, on the second rod, I'm just going to use a small j hook for a steeny or a copy will eat it as well. Steeny, hard one, picullion, cracker, anything. The reason why I'm using a, a, a j hook is because I want my bait to be slightly longer. Um, and the prawn just sits better on the J. There we go. Hopefully a Steeny eats it. Come on, Steeny! Eat it! Yeah. 
single tries. But uh, it just gives the fish a little bit slack. Just wait till it swims. And then you can pull it again. That's a better fish. Look at that guy stunning. So just remember when you pick up a cop, don't put your hand in the gill plates right there. Take it around the jawbone and then you can pick it up. Much better fish. <laughs> we are catching boys, we are catching! camera angle the other again ah, everything okay I think we sort it ah. horizon doesn't have to be all the way straight guys there's a horizon 5 championship edition it's perfect for what I'm doing here it's such a responsive rod ah, ideal for cock fishing if you want to use it for Khalil you can and um, skinnies, everything perfect for it. Look at this cob, guys. Ah, it's a much better fish. Probably like a seven kilo fish. Woohoo! Yeah, watch that. Check that. Oki leg once again did the job. Proper, proper. Guys, this is so lucky to catch a cob for a change. And it's not a bronze whaler. <laughs> We're catching. Boy. Yeah! Lekker. Right. Well, these circle looks are doing their jobs properly today. Look at that around the jaw. Beautiful. Don't bite me. Solid, solid, solid. Okay. Let's put him back. I'm not even going to measure the fish, guys. I don't want to waste time. But I'm sure it's about a uh, seven kilo fish. Not bad. Here we go. Such a stuff up for me. Falling on your own. Nice. Healthy cob. Waiting for the swell. There we go. Oi. Jumper. <laughs> Gone. There she goes. Guys, I'm so happy at this moment because I'm catching some fish. If I had six beers right now, I would have drank all eight of them. <laughs> Gold dust black tail. There you go.
Now I'm gonna leave my bait for another five or seven minutes. That hockey leg. And um, then I'm gonna leave. I think the only reason why I haven't left yet uh, <laughs> is because I'm not looking forward to that long walk. Because I've got probably like a five, five and a half K walk back against the wind. Fairly high tide, soft sand, not too lacquer. So yeah guys, that's it. Um, I enjoyed today. It was really fun, it was really lacquer. Sorry if there's a lot of wind. Um, the wind is pumping quite hard, so I walked up a little higher to get out of the um, noise from the waves and a little bit out of the wind, so hopefully you guys can hear me. But um, like I said, it was a really fun day today. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Um, especially if you take the conditions in account um, the weather wasn't exactly how they predicted I think if we had a 1.7 meter swell like they actually predicted we would have caught in a lot of fish today but it started to look better and better but um, I've got a long walk um, all the way to the Bucky so I'm not looking forward to that but I reckon today was a fairly successful day and uh, like I said two beautiful well, well one beautiful cob one small dish cob um, yeah way better than I think a couple of small halyun. Um all in all a fun day I reckon and that's why we fish we need to enjoy it, it has to be fun and um, certainly it was fun for me so yeah I'll see you guys in next week's video if you want to see more of Zulik fishing hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video and I'll see you guys next week cheers guys